talked about uh, the the disease, for want of a better word, still having epidemic <clears throat> proportions in the United States. What's the story here? Whilst the research continues, what figures do we have relating to the number of people who are suffering AIDS in Australia? Um, the figure that I have from the National Register, there is a National Register, and they um, reported about a week ago that the total number of cases diagnosed in Australia to date is, I believe, eight. That's interesting because I saw a report in a Western Australian newspaper yesterday which said there were nine cases there. You would discount There that. are no cases that I'm aware of in Western Australia at all diagnosed. Right. Now, homosexuality is outlawed in all Australian states bar two, uh, Victoria and South Australia. Yes, sir. In terms of research in this country, is that an obstacle? Well, potentially, and as much as some people are pretty frightened to go along and be part of research projects and say, oh yes, I did the following sexual acts over the last, you know, five months or mm. whatever. Uh, we, fortunately, in New South Wales, have a, an undertaking from the State Attorney General that there will be no prosecutions resulting from any information given as part of a medical research project. Though we've asked that for the, that could have been um, in the form of a legal guarantee, which it isn't. Um, but, um, but there is, there is uh, legal protection for any material that is contributed to any federal, federally funded research project. But um, I think in practice people recognise that they're if they're prepared to participate in the studies, they're, they're going to take that risk and the risk in, in reality is nil. But in other states, would the fear factor be an inhibiting factor to research? Well, the, 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 the other two major research projects are in, West, are in South Australia and Victoria. Right. So that um, where, where the um, homosexuality is legal anyhow. Now, what about research in Australia? How much money is being spent on research in this country and where is it coming from? <clears throat> well, to date, I think about $220,000 all told has been committed so far, of which 100000 has come through the National Health and Medical Research Council, which is about to announce the allocation of that money to a couple of research projects. There's 89000 been given by the New South Wales government. There's a further or oh, 20, 23,000 I think from South Australian government mm. and I'm not sure whether Western Australia or Victoria have given any funds as yet. Okay, so whilst the latest news is encouraging, it's still a long way short of the breakthrough or the cure that some people are talking about. That's right, but on, on the other hand, the Australian research projects that are going ahead are going to be very important in contributing to confirming those findings and also helping in the process of developing a, vac a vaccine. Lex, thanks for coming in. Good to thanks, talk Steve. with you. Lex Watson with some much needed hope for AIDS sufferers.